What are the longest lasting, most reliable engines that you can buy in a brand new car? That's what we're going to find out. Welcome to Carlp Corner, where we help you, the consumer, master the process of car buying and car ownership. In this video, I'm going to go through 10 of the most reliable, longest lasting engines that you can buy in a brand new car. This list is going to focus on gas powered engines found in regular cars and SUVs that you can buy brand new on the market today. So if you want to know which engines are known to run for hundreds of thousands of problem free miles without having expensive repair bills, then make sure to stick around until the end of this video. And if you enjoy and get value out of this video, make sure to subscribe to my channel. I post two videos a week, always straight to the point, valuable car buying advice designed to help you the consumer. So we're going to start this list off with my number 10 picks, which are the Mazda Skyactiv four cylinder engines. Mazda offers two different naturally aspirated four-cylinder engines in the North American market, a 2.0-liter engine and a 2.5-liter engine, which are used across the Mazda lineup. Both the 2.0-liter and 2.5-liter four-cylinder engines are known to be extremely reliable and require very little repairs over the long haul. The only real concern to be aware of with these engines is the fact that they do use direct fuel injection, which means that they can sometimes be known for developing carbon buildup on the intake valves. Carbon buildup doesn't happen to everyone, and when it does happen, it's usually at very high mileage, usually experiencing rough running or drivability issues, and it can be remedied with a relatively simple cleaning procedure using walnut shell blasting that can be done by a mechanic or a dealership. And aside from that, you really don't have much to be concerned about with a naturally aspirated Mazda Skyactiv engine, which have been used for over a decade now and have held up extremely well over time. So if you want an affordable, fuel-efficient engine with relatively low maintenance, then a Mazda Skyactiv 4-cylinder is a great choice. So with that one out of the way, let's move on to the next engine on the list, which is number 9, the Honda 3.5-liter V6 engine. Honda has long been well known for making extremely reliable engines, and the 3.5-liter V6, which they've been using for a very long time, is a great example of that. This is known to be an extremely durable, long-lasting engine that doesn't require a whole lot of maintenance over time. The only real maintenance issue to be aware of with this engine is the fact that it does use a timing belt as opposed to a timing chain, which means that it will require an expensive service every 100,000 miles or 160,000 kilometers. But aside from the timing belt service, there really isn't much else to be concerned about with this engine. So if you're thinking of buying a Honda Pilot, a Honda Passport, or the Honda Odyssey minivan, all of which use a 3.5 liter V6, you should be in great shape. But if you'd rather have a V6 engine that doesn't use a timing belt, then let's move on to number eight on the list, which is the Toyota and Lexus 3.5 liter V6. Much like Honda's V6 engine, the Toyota and Lexus 3.5 liter V6 is an extremely reliable and long lasting engine. Although the companies have begun to phase out this engine on certain SUVs like the Toyota Highlander and the Lexus RX, you can still find this V6 engine on certain models like the Toyota Camry, the Lexus IS and the Lexus ES sedan. And it is a great engine only requiring basic maintenance as it ages without expensive repair bills. Even though most of the V6 engines on the market are starting to get replaced with smaller four-cylinder turbos, you just can't beat the reliability of a simple, naturally aspirated V6. But if you just need to have something that's more fuel efficient than an old-school V6 engine, then let's move on to number 7 on the list, which is Honda's 2.0-liter four-cylinder hybrid system. Although Toyota is often known for making some of the most reliable hybrid systems on the market, Honda deserves credit for making a very reliable hybrid too. The 2.0-liter naturally aspirated 4-cylinder engine that's found in the Honda Accord Hybrid and the Honda CRV Hybrid is known to be a very reliable engine. Honda has been using their 3-motor hybrid system since 2013, and since that time the system has been known to be extremely reliable with very few issues. And because Honda's hybrid system not only has a very durable 4-cylinder engine, but also doesn't use a transmission, there really isn't much to be concerned about when it comes to repair costs or even maintenance. This is easily one of the most durable, longest lasting hybrid systems that you can buy on the market today. But then of course, you could also say the same about number six on the list, which is the Toyota four cylinder hybrid synergy engine. As I've mentioned in many of my other videos, Toyota has long been known for making one of the most reliable and longest lasting hybrid systems on the market. They have been making hybrids for over two decades, and even though hybrids are a lot more complicated than a regular gas engine, they're also known for being some of the most reliable and problem-free engines that you can buy. 
Toyota's four-cylinder hybrid engine doesn't require any more maintenance than a regular gas engine, and problems are virtually unheard of, at least for the first few hundred thousand miles. As long as you just keep up with the regular maintenance that you would do on any other gas car, you really shouldn't have any major problems. And the best part is that Toyota's super fuel-efficient hybrid system can now be found across most of the lineup, from regular cars like the Corolla and the Camry, to the SUVs like the RAV4, the Venza, and the Highlander. But with that being said, you can also get great reliability from a regular gas-powered engine, like number 5 and 4 on the list, which are Toyota's 2.5 and 2.0-liter 4-cylinder engines. Now I'm putting these two engines together because they are part of the same engine family, Toyota's Dynamic Force engines. Both use Toyota's clever direct and port fuel injection system, which is a much more reliable system than having regular direct fuel injection alone, because you don't get the carbon buildup issues that you often see with many other engines. And not only are these engines free of carbon buildup issues, but they're also free of pretty much any other major repair issues too. There's no reason why with just basic maintenance you shouldn't be able to get at least a couple hundred thousand miles out of either one of these engines. You can find the 2.0-liter 4-cylinder engine in the Corolla family, including the Corolla sedan, hatchback, and the Corolla Cross. And you can find the larger 2.5-liter engine in the Toyota Camry and the Toyota RAV4. But as great as these engines are in terms of reliability, there might just be one other 4-cylinder engine on the market that's even better. And that is number 3 on the list, Honda's naturally aspirated 2.0-liter 4-cylinder engine. Honda's naturally aspirated 2.0-liter engine, which is part of the K-Series engine family, might just be the most reliable 4-cylinder engine that you can buy on the market today. Much like Toyota's Dynamic Force 4-cylinders and the Mazda Skyactiv 4-cylinders, the Honda K20 2.0-liter engine is one of the very last naturally aspirated engines that you can buy in a brand new car. And not only do you not have any complicated turbos to worry about, but you also don't have direct fuel injection either. Honda's naturally aspirated 4-cylinder engine is one of the very few engines left that doesn't use direct fuel injection, which means you don't have any carbon buildup issues to worry about. You can still find this engine being used in the lower trims of the Honda Civic sedan and hatchback, as well as the Honda HRV crossover. No complicated turbos, no direct injection, just simple basic maintenance for an engine that can run for hundreds of thousands of problem-free miles. You can't ask for much better than that. That is unless you go with engine number 2 on the list, which is the Toyota 4.0-liter V6 engine. Toyota's 4.0-liter V6, which is now only used in the 4Runner SUV, can be considered a bit of a dinosaur because it has been around for an eternity. And because this engine is so ancient and time-tested, any issues that it might have had over its lifetime have now been fully sorted. There's nothing super complicated with this engine, just simple old-school stuff, which, let's face it, that's the way a lot of 4Runner owners like it. And if you just want a simple, durable engine that's not going to give you issues over time, I really can't think of a much better option than the 4.0-liter V6. That is unless you go with engine number 1 on the list, which is the Lexus 4.6-liter V8. Yes, even though it's very old school and uses a ton of gas, I had to include at least one V8 engine on this list. And if I had to choose just one V8 engine to stand well above the rest in terms of reliability, there is no question I would choose the 4.6 liter V8 from Lexus. This engine can now only be found under the hood of the Lexus GX460, which, much like the Toyota 4Runner, is an old school body on frame SUV. And with the GX460 being on the market for well over a decade without any major changes, reliability issues with this engine are virtually unheard of. And not only is this engine problem-free and extremely reliable, but it's also very durable and able to handle some very serious abuse, even if you need to do a lot of heavy towing. No question, being a simple old-school engine, it is going to use a ton of gas. But if you just want to have the most reliable engine possible, one that's going to run for 300, 400, maybe even half a million miles, I can't think of a better engine that you can buy than the 4.6 V8. So let me know what you thought of the engines chosen for this list. Which one of them would you buy or would you get something else instead? Let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. You can also take a look at some of my other videos by checking out these links over here. Make sure to follow me on TikTok and Instagram. And if you need any additional car buying advice, recommendations, or help with getting a great deal on your next new car purchase, make sure to check out carhelpcanada.com. Thanks so much for watching and see you next time.